1976, CBS introduced the sitcom Alice, an adaptation of the 1974 film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. The show features Linda Lavin as a widow starting anew, working at a diner in Phoenix, Arizona. One of the most memorable characters, Flo, was known for saying, kiss my grits. However, it turns out that her original phrase was even more striking than what made it to the small screen. Let's delve into the story behind Flo's famous catchphrase and the tamer version that made it to Alice. Okay, first thing you gotta do is thank Sexy. Alice is a TV series that aired in 1976 with Linda Lavin playing the title role. The theme song, That New Girl in Town, was composed by David Shire and performed by Lavin herself. The diner where the show takes place undergoes changes in set design over the seasons, reflecting its transformation. However, Alice's apartment remains consistent throughout the show. The real-life restaurant that inspired the diner's setting is located in Phoenix. It's worth noting that there is a contrast between the portrayal of Alice's husband in the movie and TV show. The movie received critical success, as did the TV show, which was well received by audiences. The show's diner set evolves over time, with changes in decor and layout. These alterations help to keep the show fresh and interesting for viewers. Despite these changes, Alice's apartment remains the same, providing a sense of familiarity and consistency. The diner used as the show's inspiration is located in Phoenix, and fans of the show can visit it to experience a piece of TV history. By setting the show in a real location, the creators added a touch of authenticity that helped to make the show more relatable. One notable difference between the movie and TV show is the portrayal of Alice's husband. In the movie, her husband is depicted as a likable character, while in the TV show, he is portrayed as a less sympathetic figure. This change was likely made to add more conflict and drama to the TV show. Both the movie and TV show were critically successful, with the TV show becoming particularly popular with audiences. The show's themes and characters resonated with viewers, making it a hit that lasted for several seasons. In conclusion, Alice is a classic TV show with a memorable theme song, likable characters, and a unique setting. The diner set evolves over time, while Alice's apartment remains a consistent presence. The show is inspired by a real location in Phoenix, and its portrayal of Alice's husband differs from that of the movie. Overall, Alice is a beloved show that continues to be enjoyed by audiences today. Oh, hi, how are you, life story, Bill? Um, I have to make an announcement here. I'm making a chocolate soup plate for dessert. When comparing Alice to the sitcom Three's Company, there are some notable similarities. Both shows experienced cast replacements during their runs, which may have contributed to similar storylines and even episode duplications. For instance, Three's Company had several actors playing the role of the third roommate, while Alice had different characters taking over the role of the diner's owner, Mel. Story-wise, Alice and Three's Company shared some common themes, such as malfunctioning automated teller machines. In one episode of Alice, the characters struggled with a faulty ATM, while Three's Company had its own version of this storyline, where the characters dealt with a malfunctioning bank machine. The similarities between the two shows may be attributed to their shared genre, setting, and era. As popular sitcoms of the 1970s and 1980s, they both featured ensemble casts and relatable, everyday situations. While each show had its unique elements, these commonalities might have led to some overlap in storylines and character arcs. In conclusion, Alice and Three's Company share some interesting similarities, particularly in terms of cast replacements, episode duplications, and certain themes explored in their storylines. Despite these similarities, both shows remain distinctive and enjoyable in their own right. You sexy and devastating to men. Vera, you know what's right for me, huh? In the popular 1976 TV series Alice, the set of Mel's Diner underwent noticeable changes over time. Initially, the diner was located in Phoenix, Arizona, but as the show progressed, it moved to a new location in Hollywood, California. With these changes came updates to the diner's interior, including the position of the payphone. At first, the payphone was situated near the entrance, but it was later moved to the back of the diner. Mel's cooking was a constant topic of conversation among the characters. While Mel took pride in his culinary skills, he often faced critiques from the waitstaff, particularly from Flo. One of the most popular dishes at Mel's Diner was chili con carne, which customers frequently ordered. However, the quality of Mel's chili was often debated. 
with some praising its spiciness and others finding it too greasy. Regular customers were an essential part of the Alice series. The most iconic regular was the truck driver, Ralph, who was a frequent visitor to Mel's Diner. The diner also attracted guest appearances from celebrities, including Henny Youngman, Donny Osmond, and Dionne Warwick, adding an extra layer of excitement to the show. Overall, Alice provided an entertaining and engaging look into the daily operations of a diner, highlighting the camaraderie between the staff and the diverse group of customers who frequented the establishment. I'll be damned if I will. <laughs> I agree with you. In the popular 1976 TV series Alice, several significant character departures and the introduction of catchphrases marked key turning points. One notable departure was that of Polly Holiday, who played the memorable character Flo. Flo's departure served as a launching point for her own spin-off series. The character of Flo is perhaps best known for her catchphrase, Kiss My Grits. This phrase was actually a more socially acceptable replacement for a more explicit line that had originally been written for the character. The writer's decision to replace the original line with Kiss My Grits proved to be a wise one, as the phrase became a pop culture phenomenon and endeared Flo to audiences even more. In an effort to replicate the success of Flo's catchphrase, the writers introduced a similar line for the character of Belle, played by Diane Ladd. Belle's catchphrase was Butter My Biscuits, but it failed to gain the same level of popularity as Flo's Kiss My Grits. The introduction of these catchphrases and the departure of Polly Holiday led to much speculation about the cast dynamics and potential future departures. While the show continued to be successful after Flo's departure, her absence was certainly felt by both the characters and the audience. Despite these changes, Alice remained a beloved and enduring part of the television landscape for many years to come. She said that the coffee should be close to the water. Your coffee was already close to water. <laughs> the 1976 TV series Alice provided audiences with a relatable and entertaining look into the lives of its characters set in a diner in Phoenix, Arizona. One aspect that has piqued the interest of viewers over the years is the cast dynamics and relationships, both on and off screen. Some speculate that the cast members were quite close, while others had more strained relationships. For instance, Linda Lavin, who played the main character Alice Hyatt, and Vic Tabak, who portrayed the gruff but lovable diner owner Mel Sharps, reportedly had a strong friendship off screen, which may have contributed to the chemistry between their characters on the show. On the other hand, rumors suggest that Polly Holiday, who played the sassy waitress Flo Castleberry, and the rest of the cast had a more distant relationship. These speculations, however, have never been confirmed and remain mere conjecture. Comparatively, Alice shared some similarities with other sitcoms of the time, such as One Day at a Time, which also featured a predominantly female cast and tackled various social issues. There were rumors of cast discord during the production of One Day at a Time, particularly between stars Bonnie Franklin and Valerie Bertinelli, but these were never substantiated either. It is important to remember that television shows are often carefully crafted productions, and while cast relationships can impact the final product, they do not always reflect the entire story. The dynamics between cast members can vary greatly, and speculation about their relationships should not detract from the enjoyment of the show itself. You understand it? But you gotta let me handle it. You can't be messing in. Okay. Alright, I'll leave it to you to find a husband. The TV series Alice, which first aired in 1976, gained consistent popularity and has remained a favorite among many. The show's enduring appeal can be attributed to its nostalgic charm and humor, which continues to resonate with audiences today. Set in a simple roadside diner, the show follows the main character, Alice Hyatt, as she navigates her new life in Phoenix, Arizona after moving from New Jersey with her young son. Alice takes a job as a waitress at Mel's Diner, where she forms close bonds with her co-workers and customers. The show's humor and relatable characters helped it to stand out from other sitcoms of the time, and its down-to-earth setting and themes struck a chord with audiences. The show's writers expertly balanced light-hearted moments with more serious storylines, allowing viewers to form a deep connection with the characters. Alice was also notable for its strong female leads, including the titular character played by Linda Lavin, as well as supporting characters like Flo and Vera. These characters were multi-dimensional and well-developed, providing a refreshing contrast to the more one-dimensional female characters that were common in television at the time. 
Overall, the consistent popularity of Alice can be attributed to its enduring nostalgic appeal, as well as its well-developed characters and relatable storylines. The show's humor and heart continue to resonate with audiences today, making it a beloved classic in the world of television. Well, she is drawing Milo to Milo. <laughs> you mean you have nude men posing?